This is a Surumi 2-inch submersible pump. Model number HSZ 2.4S. We are replacing a defective and broken impeller. To begin, remove the strainer stand and pump casing by removing the hex bolts. They're 13 millimeters and there are three different hex bolts. Lay the pump on its side and note where the impeller should be. This one is damaged. Grip the impeller and loosen and remove the stirrer, the spring washer, and the plane washer. Remove the old impeller piece. Again, you can see this is broken. There we go. Get that off. You can see that that thing is all busted up right there. Check the shaft sleeve and the casing packing for sand, debris, or wear. Clean it or replace if needed. Now, to install the impeller, make sure your impeller is placed so that the fins are pointed down towards the bottom of the pump. You can see there's a small little key right here. So you want to line it up with this impeller. Force it on there a little bit. There we go. That's in. And hand thread the plane washer, the spring washer, and the stirrer. Now, holding the impeller, tighten the stirrer. Do not over tighten. Do not break or overly compress your impeller. It's just made out of hard plastic. There's some old pieces of the impeller right up here. So we have to dig this stuff out. Okay, these are the old pieces of the impeller that need to come out. Okay, that is clear. Now reassemble all the parts. Restore the pump back on top. Set it down. And then reattach all these pieces. Here's the one on the back side. Firm but not over tight where we crack anything. There, and finally here. Okay, plug in to test your unit and you are all ready to go. And here we go. And we're finished.